going on guys and welcome back to the channel my name is bear witness and today we're going to be talking about a couple of changes that came to fortnite today some weapon changes now i don't like to really go over update patch notes i leave that to a lot of other different youtubers but when things are directly affect the way the game it, the way you use items to kill people it's kind of important and that's what i feel is like the most important so uh, first things first on the list we see that they've added dual pistols now if you guys have played fortnite today you guys already knew about this so i'm not going to go into too many details about it but we do 41 to 43 base damage they use medium bullets so anybody wondering if they shoot faster no they don't or if they shoot uh they shoot they're between the pistol, the like the regular pistol and the deagle. They shoot faster than the deagle, but they shoot slower than the regular pistol, but they both fire at the same time. So there's a lot of fun to be had with those. Those are absolutely amazing weapons, and I cannot believe that they put those in there because I have so much fun with them. And they are now, I like them more than I like ARs at this point. But they don't have first shot accuracy, so you can't kind of like, it's like whatever you shoot at, you're going to shoot at. There's no, oh, you know, I'm going to be able to crouch here for a second and pop back up and do that. You can't do that. So there's that. Now, Weapon damage to structures now scales with the rarity. So, if you have a, I'd say a blue burst compared to a gray burst, you're going to be doing different damages to structures. But that's not the worst thing. Now it comes, the worst thing comes from the shotguns being nerfed again. Not only did they have less ammo off ammo pickups, so you immediately once you, if you see a pump, you're starting off with less bullets. Now I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when it comes to shotguns still being a big close quarter like big damage output weapon it's i don't know why it's taking the most hits i don't understand that i don't get that and i would love for anybody that either you know works for epic games or anybody that has an idea why they keep nerfing shotguns to definitely leave a comment down below so i can kind of understand because i just don't understand that now they also the the shotgun damage to structures has been reduced by 50 percent reduced my bad i i said deuced i, I don't know what the fuck anyways it was reduced by 50%. So, in those situations where you guys fall down or you're next to somebody, you're about to pop a shotgun shot, it is not going to one-shot that person's building anymore. So, it is best to get out of that habit, try to break that habit. Once they build, you want to try to kind of follow them up or create your own building up because you will not be able to take that down. If you have an AR, though, you can probably, like, burst it down really quickly, but that still takes time. So, you'd rather, in those situations, you'd rather build than anything else. And uh, it was only nerfed by 25% for the tactical shotgun and heavy shotgun. So the pumps themselves are what's be been getting a lot of, like, attention. Like, people, I, at this point, I'm like, if you don't like the pump so much, why don't you just take it out of the game? And that's my personal opinion. Now, explosions now damage all structures within the ra range, whether they're not, or whether or not they're visible from the explosion center. So... If you hit a wall, you're still you're gonna blow up the two walls behind it as well. So that's the radius. So it's gonna damage all of those, even if it can't. Like it's not just gonna hit. Like say you're in a situation where you build a wall and then you build a ramp. It's gonna break both of them. It's not just gonna break one. It's a little frustrating because it's happened to me a lot today. But it's not terrible considering they nerfed how many explosives you can have. Also. Uh, the tactical SMG. Now, this is a lot of things to go over really quick about the tactical SMG and the, I think it's the suppressed SMG? Yeah, the silenced SMG, sorry. First things first, the tactical SMG. They removed the first shot accuracy. They increased the bakes accuracy by 25%. They lowered the sprinting accuracy penalty by 15%. They lowered the ADS bonus by 10%. And they increased the damage by 2 now, all in all, I would say this is a good time to be using the tactical SMG. I personally have loved them for forever. I've always thought they were just as good as shotguns up close. So if you guys were thinking that we're coming to a point where we want to use either a uh, tactical uh, shotgun and a SMG or a heavy shotgun and an SMG, I'm starting to feel like that's what we're getting pushed towards because there's nothing like having a shotgun damage output whether or not you're switching to an SMG or another shotgun. Simple. Now with the silenced SMG, you have increased base accuracy by 10%, increased ADS accuracy by 20%, and increased damage by plus 2. So both of the SMGs got buffed in damage. They also both have increased accuracy and increased ADS. The silenced SMG has first shot accuracy, so that's pretty dope. So definitely, I've been thinking the silenced SMG needed a buff for a long time. I actually kind of wanted them to vault it because it doesn't seem to be as good to use as a lot of other weapons. 
you could argue with me on this, but I'm telling you guys, I've barely seen, like, and I've watched a lot of Fortnite content myself on YouTube, and I barely see anybody using those unless they absolutely have to at the start of the game. Now, Boogie Bomb explosions are also not no longer blocked by vehicles. Thermal scoped rifles will now con consistently exhibit in intended accuracy while scoped in. Clingers can no longer stick to players through the ceiling or floor. Spike traps placed on a ceiling no longer damage players on the floor above. And the thermal sco scoped rifle no longer highlights open chests along with weapons will no longer appear to fire when switching weapons under certain network conditions. That's kind of frustrating because you're like, oh my god, did I fire? And you're panicking. You're like, oh my god, like, where's everybody coming from? But aside from that, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this weapon update. I want to do more of these in the future for you guys because I absolutely love when the meta changes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, like the video. Join the Bear Squad and hit that sub button, hit that bell so you guys get notified on every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one.